Hello, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. Elm Street must not be a fun street to live on. People have nightmares every night. A nightmare on Elm Street left quite an impact on the horror film genre when it first came out. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. Avoid falling asleep and let's talk about this nightmare. A Nightmare on Elm Street woke up from a nightmare in theaters in 1984. A ghostly figure stalks teenagers in their sleep, giving chase until viciously killing them. Fighting sleep, Nancy ends at nothing to defeat this child murderer, even if she has to go into her dreams to do so. Instead of watching A Nightmare on Elm Street at night, I decided to watch it during the day on my very first watch when I was 14. It still terrified me. A Nightmare on Elm Street for an entertaining and very sinister film that impacted audiences coupled with the fear of sleep. I love Heather Langenkamp's performance as the teenage Nancy Thompson. Her frightened reactions to the horror followed by a genuine journey of growth is a trait I've always admired about Nancy. Her incredible wit, especially when designing handcrafted traps at the end of the movie, is a very noteworthy scene that captures her character. Robert England has gone down as one of the best horror movie villains as Freddy Krueger. With the nightmarishly unsettling appearance, sinister clothing, and threatening gloved hand posing sharp weaponry, England took the liberties in his ghoulish behavior and humorous, smart-aleck comebacks. At first, Amanda Wiss, who plays Tina, appears to be the protagonist until it turns out that she's only one of Freddy's victims. Wiss was outstanding running away from her stalker, including her talk with Nancy about her nightmares. Wiss and Hugh Garcia, who played Rod, established one of the most famously bloody scenes in the entire movie. Switching the ceiling to the floor and harnessing Garcia to the floor, the scene where they are violently screaming for each other as Tina is being murdered by the invisible threat is a well-directed scene. Want to know whose film debut A Nightmare on Elm Street was? That's right, Johnny Depp plays Nancy's boyfriend, Glenn. Langenkamp and Depp created an endearing relationship. I'm very impressed with Depp. Depp mostly stays in the foreground, lightly dismissing, but still supporting Nancy as she inspects for clues. Ronnie Blakely and the late John Saxon are terrific as Nancy's parents. Nancy's family has its issues. The actors worked very well to create a distantly vibe just from their interactions. Blakely's drunken monologue about the story of Freddy Krueger was well acted. One minor character that stood out to me was Lynn Shea, who played Nancy's teacher. Her reactions were genuine and heartwarming to how she controls Nancy's terrifying screams after falling asleep in class. Oh, and by the way, this woman played this woman in Insidious. The late Wes Craven surpassed in his incredible direction. It's an original story. Craven knows suspense and how to provoke his audience. Craven invested in the topic of dreams, even sporting a new terror. Eventually, we have to fall asleep. There's no fighting it. One of my favorite scenes of all is when Nancy wanders into a dreamlike hallway of the school, following a bloody pathway into the boiler room. The whole sequence is filled with lingering suspense and terror. The special effects were very impressive and gross at the same time. Now I will always shiver when hearing scratches against a pipe. The soundtrack is very unnerving, but gets you into the right mood all at the same time. A Nightmare on Elm Street has spawned a number of sequels and a remake. It is intense at times, especially the subject matter about a child murderer killing you in your sleep. I know I was afraid to sleep the night after watching this film. A Nightmare on Elm Street has made quite an impact on horror movie culture. Thanks for catching my review of A Nightmare on Elm Street. Have you seen all the films in the franchise? 
I have three more films to talk about as Shocktoberween Month comes to a conclusion. Next on my list is The Silence of the Lambs. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle, and this has been another one of my movie reviews.